I know a lot of people are thinking about the Wonder Wheel today because of the big opening over in Coney Island. So uh, we'll see what we can serve up. Some clouds out there right now, but the temperature is up to 59. This is about as warm as we think it can get today. There could be some inland locations that make it into low 60s in parts of New Jersey. But uh, we've had a marine layer move in that kept the clouds uh, kind of low early on. And then we were also seeing an increase in clouds from the west. And so those two combined are giving us the overcast conditions that we're seeing. And that will really put a lid on the temperatures for us for the most part. Some showers are expected to develop after two o'clock over here to the west. You can see that showing up on the future cast. But as we go throughout the evening, wouldn't be surprised to see spotty showers pop up pretty much anywhere across the map. Now, it's not a soaker or rain out of a weekend, but you are going to have to have your umbrellas handy. Another round of rain coming for tomorrow's spotty showers. Some heavier rain for Sunday. The early part of Sunday gets a soggy start. We see temperatures do rebound on Saturday, Sunday afternoon. Saturday, it will be in the low 60s. So we'll talk about these Temperatures and the little roller coaster ride we've got in the weather department. Uh, but I know a lot of folks are excited to get out to Coney Island today. Back to you, Shirley. That's for sure. Uh, and around here. We knew that the temperatures were going to be a little tricky today because of the cloud coverage. First, we had the marine layer come in early, and now we've had the clouds pushing in from the west. You can see that the, the sunshine's been limited or dimmed, but it has allowed for the temperature to get up to 59 degrees, right about where we think the, the top temperature will end. So, sort of putting a lid on it won't rule out the opportunity to get a few more degrees, especially especially for folks inland and to parts of New Jersey. But for the most part, the clouds are really limiting us getting back to the 70s where we were for the last couple of days, which has felt so nice around here. So this is a seasonal temperature, pretty average for this time of year. Uh, so we're not going to be bringing up the numbers, but certainly not bringing them down either. 58 or better over the next several days. So pretty close to what our climate average is. Sunset tonight at 729. We're going to get a little bit of moisture in here. A few showers hit or miss. So expect the temperatures, which are really very across the area again due to the differences in proximity to water and also the amount of clouds. Melrose has 47, 46 for Mill Basin being so close to the water. Meanwhile, Soho's at 59 and you go a little bit further inland and temperatures are in the low 50s for places like Newark close to the water but Andover a little further inland is at 62. So that's the difference in the temperature situation. As we make our way through the afternoon, a few stray showers, especially west of the city. Then early tomorrow morning, we're expecting some light rain and drizzle. So it's a cloudy couple of days. The rain is limited. It's cooler, yes, by about 10, 12 degrees, but we're still very seasonal and near that average of 58. Some significant rain coming in on Monday, and you'll see that in the future cast. Just want to note here what's happening real time as those clouds are continuing to push in and thicken up from the west, and that could bring a shower, especially for the afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, just to the west of the city. You can see it right here on the map with the blue, and then later on this evening, some more widely scattered showers on the map. Again, early tomorrow morning, a chance for drizzle. So rain will come and go at times, not a complete soaker and not a washout of a weekend until we get to Sunday morning when this wall of rain comes in and that's what creates a soaking across the area between early in the morning and say about 10 a.m. Then through the afternoon on Sunday, 2 p.m. till 6 or 7, we've got a nice flow of air coming up from the south that could take our temperatures back to the mid to upper 60s and then there's a weak front that comes through the area late on Sunday night. That could produce a shower, a thunderstorm, especially north and west. So our temperatures are not quite as warm as what they've been and we do have some chances for showers all of this the perfect recipe to get some good growth going a little bit of sunshine temperatures on the mild side and rain from time to time and that'll take us through the next several days monday being the coolest behind that cold front mid 60s are back for tuesday and wednesday of next week let's look at the accuweather seven